Hello, welcome to our first feature showcase. My name is Stefan. I'm the game director here at 80 Monkeys. Today we're going to be showing a feature we call Veggie. This is our procedural generation tool. So the first question is why did we make this system? Well, we're creating a huge world filled with tons of handcrafted locations, content, and features. And we're essentially using the procedural generation to fill in the spaces between that content. This means that we get to focus more on the important stuff while also giving each player a unique experience when exploring the world. What does this mean for you? It means that every single space on the overworld map is a unique location to explore, gather resources, camp, and battle enemies. This system will allow you to go between locations as you explore without returning to the overworld map. This doesn't mean that procedurally generated environments won't have any handcrafted content. We've actually designed this system to seamlessly integrate handcrafted features into the procedural generation. So when we talk about procedural generation, we're really just talking about the trees, the bushes, the grass and terrain. Um, locations like bandit camps or caves or you know, a hermit's house or a farm or whatever else you might find while exploring will be handcrafted, but just seamlessly integrated into the environments. Now I'll pass it over to Cameron, our lead developer, to explain the system he created. Hello, I'm Cameron, lead developer here at 801 Monkeys. We call this tool Veggie, which is short for Visual Environment Generation Editor. Let's take a look. This is Veggie. A bunch of nodes and wires, which through some manner of dark sorcery, becomes a completed environment. The essence of Veggie is stacking tile sets defined by layer nodes. Let's make a basic environment to showcase how this works. Generation nodes are the start of the process. Here are some examples, although there are many more. We can plug generation nodes directly into a layer node, and we can see results right away, though these may not be the desired outcomes. To get those, sometimes we need to pass the generation nodes through modifier nodes. Modifier nodes take input from other nodes and change it around a little bit so we can get really cool effects like this Perl and Distort or the Outline. Now that we've got some layers set up, let's take a look at the real deal. Well hey, there's the environment we just made. It's not any good, but, you know, we didn't spend very long on it. With just these simple principles, we can weave together complex strings of nodes to make really incredible environments. And iterate on them quickly as well. Though not all environments will be procedurally generated, Veggie is going to help us flesh out the world and add more interest to the areas that would otherwise be forgotten.